Hi, welcome to Whimsy Crafter. If you are new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and don't forget to press the bell icon to get notified about latest videos on my channel. Please give this video a big thumbs up if you found it useful and don't forget to comment below with your queries. This is the much anticipated and requested video on customizing t-shirts at home. I have already shown you how you can create your own stencil at home and how you should cut such stencils properly. You can find the links to those videos in the description box. So without further ado, let's get started with customizing t-shirts as per our preference. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be showing you how you can customize your own t-shirt using custom made stencils. I have already shown you how to make a stencil in my previous video. So today I will be showing what ingredients are required for it. You will need a solid colored uh, t-shirt like this. You will need sponges for coloring. Fabric color, I have taken uh, Fevicryl acrylic color. A waste plate where you can spread the color and use it using a sponge. A gl uh, some glue. Obviously the stencil. A cardboard. And lastly, the islands of the letters. If I zoom in, you will see that these are the inner portions of the letters of P, of O and of A. While placing this stencil on the t-shirt, while placing this stencil on the t-shirt, I will place all these white islands in the specific spaces. Like for A I will place this, for uh, P I will place this and for O I will place this. These two portions are for the face over here. And then I will use the sponge accordingly. So first what I need to do is I need to insert this cardboard inside the t-shirt. So you can see the t-shirt here. I will insert this cardboard inside this t-shirt for added support because the color will soak into the other side. So this is the t-shirt. I will take the cardboard like this and put it inside like this. If you don't have cardboard you can use paper. At the spot where you want the design to be. This is the t-shirt with the piece board on inside it. If you want you can fold it so that you get only the area where you want your stencil to be. So I will fold it now. You can see this is the back side after folding. And now I will flip it. So this is the place where I want my template to be. This is the area where I want my template to be. So I have adjusted the t-shirt accordingly and this is exactly where I want this template to be and I will set it over here. Now for this I am using a cello tape. I will secure the ends with a cello tape. Okay. The next thing is to add the islands right over here where I want the design to be. So these are my islands. First I will put the A. So this is why I said that we will be needing the glue. I will paste this using the glue and the glue can be washed off easily later. So I will apply a little bit of glue 
on the side length and I place it right in the middle. This can easily be washed off later. So I'll place all the islands like this. I'm done with sticking all the islands as you can see for the face and for the letters as well. If any part of the stencil comes off and is not you know setting right on the t-shirt you can always apply some glue like I'm doing. Put some glue on your fingers and line the inner edges. They will always wash off later so you don't need to worry. You can always put them in place like this. Now comes the fun part that is the coloring. So this is my plate. This is my plate, this is my sponge and this is my color. I will use white because white looks quite good on red. Okay, so my white is here. I will pour this over here, dab it with a sponge and then color it. I repeat, please do not use water. Now, I'll pour it on the plate. This much is more than enough. If I need it, I'll use it later. And the sponge. Do not wet the sponge too. Because we'll be dabbing it using the sponge. No need of wetting the sponge. So, dab the color using the sponge like this. Okay like this and using light pressure dab it around the empty cut out portions of the stencil Okay, it has been almost 25 minutes and the entire setup is now dry to touch. As you can see, it's dry to touch. So, I'll quickly remove the stencil and see how things have turned out. So, I'll remove the tapes. I 
small four corners and I will peel from this side slowly. very slowly and very gently don't rush even if they don't come off now don't worry this is just paper they will just melt off when you wash it from the for the first time peel off one at a time I've peeled off this much and slowly peel off the rest okay just come out quite good ok the face is done then comes the letters so peel from underneath slowly This has come out quite good. Okay, then remove the islands on the face. Okay. This one too. And just for the letters. So, these are the outcomes. There are still remnants of the paper left. That is why the shapes have not come out as sharp. They are not looking as sharp as they are supposed to. But don't worry. Please don't scrub or use very harsh soap for washing this. Because it will eventually just, you know, peel off. And don't expect this to be just like the ones you get online or you buy it off the shop. This is a handmade thing. The customized items do not need to be perfect. So this is how you can choose any template that you want and get your own customized t-shirt and wear it yourself or gift them to your loved ones. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. And give a big thumbs up if you found this video useful.